Hi folks, I'm Sherry Martin. Tonight on Heart of the Home, my daughter Angela is visiting my new kitchen, and this will be our first time cooking here together. We're gonna tell you a secret. We don't know how to operate this new stove. And it took us 30 minutes to figure out how to turn one eye on, but we're gonna prepare a meal. She's prepared this for me many times. It was um, a good friend's recipe. Absolutely love it, but I didn't know how simple it was. Mm -hmm. So this week we talked about it, and she said, Mom, I can do that in three minutes, so we're gonna do it. And Very you easy. will love this one. And it's a company's coming recipe, or feed it to your family and make it simple. You will love this one. Mm -hmm. Angela, tell them the ingredients. The ingredients are, you want boneless chicken breast, you want chopped spinach, frozen packages are fine, cream cheese, you want two packages of those, then you want two cups of shredded cheddar cheese, you want one beef bouillon cube, some minced garlic, salt and pepper, garlic salt, and a little EVOO. And that's it. You're ready to go. Well, Angela, we've got the cubed chicken. Let's put it on. Let's cook my chicken up, what, five minutes? And yours will cook seven minutes, breast, maybe? I, I take the whole breast and then I cut it in half with just my kitchen scissors. And while I've got my chicken going and my EVO oil, little garlic, salt, and pepper, then I also put my water on the bowl, drop my two big cubes of frozen chopped spinach in there. I don't usually go by the directions. I just stir it up, and I've also got my big bouillon cube in there. Stir it until it breaks apart and looks done. It's common sense. Just give it a little stir when that piece is coming apart, it's ready to go. Then you gotta drain that spinach really well to get all your water out. So you use a colander. Use a colander, press, press it out with a spoon, make sure we get it completely dry because we're gonna be adding cheese to that. And we don't want a watery mix, we want it real cheesy. Angela, you got your spinach drained good. That looks great. Now you're going to add the cream cheese. Mm -hmm. We're going to add two blocks of the cream two cheese. Two blocks of cream cheese. And we're going to add the cheddar cheese. Two cups. two cups of cheddar cheese. We're bringing the spinach and the cheese. We're just warming it up a little bit. We're going to dissolve everything together. And then we're going to add this wonderful hot chicken to it. Just work the cheese until everything is melted down. And these flavors together are absolutely incredible. This is simple, and I think it's going to impress people. What absolutely. You? Absolutely. Now what we're doing, we're putting the biggest half of the breast down, and we're just going to pack it with the filling, which is our spinach and cheese. Then we're going to put the small part of the breast on top. We're going to put some more of the spinach and cheese, just a little bit this time. Kind of mash it out. Then we're going to cover it with some little shredded. Mm. Wow. Then we're going to pop this in the oven, let this cheese melt, and then serve it up. In the oven for what, five to seven minutes? Sure. There you go. We're going to take our little chicken bites for our family dish. We're just going to slightly drain them off a little bit, and we're going to throw them into our other spinach and cheese mixture. Wow, it smells so good. And this is the easy part. We're just going to Mix all this together, throw it in a casserole dish. I am so impressed. This was so simple. It smells delicious. And I know from past experience it tastes delicious. And thanks for sharing this wonderful recipe. It was a simple one and it was an elegant one. Tune in again next week, Heart of the Home. We'll see you then.